hi there welcome back in this lecture we will learn how to install azure specific powershell and use the required modules to install and configure and get it connected so that you can work with azure powershell and that's the agent of this lecture so powershell can be used directly uh, from your windows machine and open up your powershell module by typing powershell and open the powershell window from here and that would actually open the normal uh, powershell window from here you can work or you can even open ISE and from there also you can work so it's just like you are working on a windows machine instead of the command prompt you open the powershell window that's it okay but it needs to have uh, a required powershell version and if at all you want to just upgrade your internal powershell i'm not talking about the azure specific then you can use this command like install module only the powershell get and then you know click on a force to install get it so that would actually upgrade to the latest version of the powershell uh, by default windows 10 if you are using windows 10 operating system it would be 5.0 version and uh, that doesn't actually have the 5.1 at least you need to work with the 5.1 of the windows so in case if you have not upgraded you can upgrade the uh, internal powershell i was talking about the internal powershell not for the uh, not for the uh, azure specific module so let's say you have everything ready with the uh, normal powershell is ready then you can actually go ahead and install so i'm going to actually use or uh, give you all these commands uh, for you so that you can execute all these commands instead of viewing from here you can go through it and you can run on your computer also just to tell you before we enter into azure specific modules so there were early, earlier we used to use azure rm azure rm is a module uh, that's the module which we used to work on it so now everything is az module so there's a difference i'll just type uh, here uh, just azure rm is different and uh, this is the old module now we have az module so every command now they are trying to migrate to az command so if at all you are you have already azure rm also you are trying to install az module it's not gonna work so i just wanted to show you you know uh, in case if you have already a version it's gonna ignore and it will just simply use this command you see here if the ps table version addition is equal to desktop get the module name called azure rm if it is available list is available then you can see that hey you have already azure rm module which is not going to support uh, so you best to upgrade to az module that's why we're going to install a module called az uh, that's what it's going to say so let's hit enter and it's asking hey i'm going to connect uh, to get this az module from power ps gallery so this is ps gallery is a repository they maintain uh, again ps gallery is maintained by microsoft in fact so ps gallery all the uh, modules are published there so it's going to connect over the internet and it's going to install on your machine so do you really trust that ps gallery that's what the question so you can click on yes or a for uh, which is all the time i mean all s will be accepted so no further yes prompts will be asked otherwise you would be getting two more or one more at least the prompt so if you see here the easy modules that's easy hyphen easy dot accounts all that it's getting downloading from internet and in a minute it's going to install that all the easy specific uh, modules like billing all that it's doing all that cdn cognitive computing so when we say computing like virtual machines management everything so that's easy specific and also the models getting installed here i'm just fast forwarding just to give you clarity if you're quite new to the powershell uh we do this installation only one time it's not that you know whenever we want to work with azure powershell we don't want to again and again do the installation so let's clear this uh, commands on the screen and try to connect to connect from powershell just open up your powershell window and after installing the azure module so you should have the az connect module so then i can type as a connect hyphen uh, 
and then type AZ account give a tab so that's going to fulfill for you if the module is available and hit enter that's going to open a new IE browser or whatever the browser you have and that will ask uh, for the sign-in information so I'm just entering here my ID in this case and then I'll simply click OK that's gonna ask my user ID and password to sign in and uh, that's it that uh, once the sign in is uh, clear it's gonna log in I mean it's gonna redirect this entire uh, password the window sign in password window to my publisher so if you have the multiple accounts it's gonna show that all the subscriptions which are associated with this so in this case one account is uh, showing here which is a visual studio enterprise edition with the azure cloud if i quickly show you from the azure portal this is my tenant id you can see here 7c7ba13db3 that's my tenant id and this is my subscription what i have currently so i was able to log in here without any issues so now from here if i want to create any virtual machine or resource group all that can be done with the powershell command and just to give you a heads up you can also do it directly from cloud shell so when we talk about the cloud shell this is the window we call as a cloud shell which is nothing but your azure portal within this portal you have a window here just click on that so once you just click on that it's going to ask you if it is a for the first time it says that hey whatever the commands you're going to uh, execute definitely it needs a backend to store those commands or you need some kind of you know storage space so what it's gonna ask you is hey I'm gonna uh, create a new storage account for you uh, just to you know store this so are you okay with that so if so then we can create otherwise this cloud shell doesn't work so we'll just click on the create so in the back end it's gonna actually create a storage account so you see here there are currently no storage accounts so if I just show you here there's no storage accounts so it's going to actually create these uh, storage account it's still creating no it says that uh, requesting a cloud shell it is success so it's trying to connect it so if i just go back here a little bit and try to do a refresh so i should be able to see here a uh, storage account in a minute or so i'll just try to refresh this by reloading so that I should be able to see here storage account yeah this is the storage account so what happened is this storage account got created and whenever we try to you know connect it again it's gonna re-establish the connection since I did the refresh but otherwise if I just close here and try to move somewhere within the Azure portal and click on here it's gonna point to the same uh, session the previous session by reconnecting and if you see here uh, it's not connected to this shell so this is called cloud shell but within this cloud shell you have a two types one is a bash which is nothing but uh, Azure CLI commands that can be executed like if you are coming from a Linux background you might be using bash but if you're coming from a Windows background definitely you would be requesting to execute the commands in a PowerShell so simply click on PowerShell that will actually switch from bash to PowerShell so I'll just switching that once the switching is completed it's actually lands in this page which is nothing but a PowerShell page so I can execute the commands that are specific to the PowerShell and you see here this is the uh, directory that you have uh, let's say you want to transfer something you can do it from here like upload download it's like you can manage your files or you have let's say you have a PowerShell script that you wanted to upload to your storage account this is nothing but a storage account in the backend right so you can upload like uh, some files from here and then uh, based on that files let's say I just want to know, upload this specific PowerShell command or PowerShell PS1 file example just want to show you here so uh, the upload is completed so if I ju just do the DIR so this is the specific shell um, has now a file also available so this is how you can upload and download you can download even files also from your share let's say you are trying to put some kind of logs then you want to read that log file by storing to your computer you can do that 
and let's say I wanted to create some resource group so how would I do it is normally from the uh, from the window uh, from the windows uh, or the from the Azure portal what we do is we go to resource groups and we cl uh, click on create right and if you see here this is the uh, resource group that has been created when we try to create this cloud shell so what happened it has created this resource group within this resource group it has put some storage account you see here this is a storage account is part of it so similarly I'm gonna actually create a new resource group for that the command would be so I'll simply enter a new command which is nothing but a, a new Azure RM resource group with the name called RG01 uh, with the location I'm specifying as South Central US so just click on enter so if I have the option to create permissions within South Central US then I should be able to create a resource group called RG01 so it has successful so all I have to do is just go to here and do a quick refresh I should be able to see here so you see here you don't get it immediately so that happens sometime so all you have to do is just be on a patient and then do a quick refresh when it is successful in your shell it means success there's no failure so the shell is faster than the GUI to appear so it takes some time as we do the update or the refresh we were able to see the resource group so this is how you're gonna use let's say I want to switch back to uh, bash I can simply click on that bash and confirm and then I can create one more resource group with the help of bash commands so from the bash I can simply type a command called az group create uh, with a location called vestures and then my resource group name so this has been created so let me go back here and do a quick refresh so it should be able to see here yeah you got this a new resource group has been created called my resource group in the west us location this is how you can create it let's say you want to execute some other powershell commands you can do it directly either from the cloud shell or from your local powershell window and you just have to execute the major advantage with the uh, cloud shell would be you can execute it from anywhere it doesn't matter whether it's a computer or it can be your mobile phone also all you have to do is you just need to have these commands that's it uh, whereas if you're trying to do it with your local powershell that means you need to have a windows machine and then you have to execute by connecting it so instead of that using the cloud shell has been increased these days by Azure admins and Azure architects and what they do is they simply have their all the required scripts in this specific storage account uh, which is a cloud shell storage uh, specific resource group inside this whatever the storage account is there within that they simply upload the files and they keep it ready it's like the computer right so they simply execute from there all the required either bash or maybe powershell commands that's how they're gonna work so try to use as much as possible the cloud shell because it's the easiest method and you can store your files in the storage account try to avoid local connectivity but of course sometimes we can't do it we like to use uh, directly from the powershell uh, that's also there of course but what you can do is you can simply create your scripts with the IEC or whatever the uh, editor and then upload to your cloud shell and then execute it from here that's how also you can do it I hope this entire lecture is really useful for you if you're trying to start up this course to understand more about this your portal how you can connect uh, from the cloud shell or maybe a PowerShell or from CLI commands to execute uh, I made it very clear to understand about the cloud shell and the command window that can be executed within the cloud shell you have a two options one is a bash other one is the PowerShell or you can directly connect by importing the required Azure modules and installing those specific modules with, the, with respect to the Azure and then you can execute those things directly from your PowerShell window right from your computer I hope this entire lecture is useful for you. Thank you very much.